Okay guys, so it's Max here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a video on my new YouTube set, as you can tell, it's different, it was also in the last video that I did the ball head with, um, and so yeah, roll the intro. So guys, as I only have one camera, which is the camera you can see me on now, um, I'm going to be doing um, this, which isn't recording yet, so you won't be able to see me like this, um, but um, well, I'm going to be doing it on this phone, but first of all, uh, I also have a microphone, which I will show you with this phone in a second, um, and so I'm going to do a click of the fingers, and then the microphone will go to the camera microphone, because at the moment I'm recording through the, you'll be surprised in a minute. Um, and then I'm going to click again and it will go back to this microphone. So, here is the camera audio. And this is what the camera audio sounds like. A lot more background noise as you can tell. And, um, not as sharp quality and crisp quality. And then, to back to my new microphone. Okay, and you'll be surprised to know what this is in a minute. Uh, so I'm just going to do this phone, so here you go, now recording, and swapping to this now. Okay, so if I step back from the scene a little, here we go. So, um, let's talk from the least interesting part first, I just kicked my bed, uh, the backdrop. Uh, nothing too amazing, also the audio on this is going to be really bad because it can be coming out of this, sorry for that, um, and also the stabilisation doesn't look very good, but anyway, ignoring that, it's just a blanket, but it gives a nice dark backdrop because when it focuses on my face, my face is quite bright, so then it adjusts to it, um, it just blocks out all the background stuff back there, that isn't very interesting, it would be alright if there's my desk, but I had the problem of there was too much light coming from one side. So, then I have a drum stool to sit on. It does move a little, as you can see. Um, and then I have three pieces of tape to mark out where everything goes. Um, next thing is this light stand with, obviously, some kind of softbox. But you may remember I've talked about this in another video if you've been a subscriber for a long time, which uh, that none of you have. But um, you won't have noticed if I just turn it off. It takes forever to turn off. Okay, there you go. It is an old Acer laptop screen, as you can see there, uh, that had a massive crack in. And you may remember, actually, the video where I converted it into a separate computer and also a laptop uh, without the screen. So you can just, you've got keyboard trackpad, you just don't actually have the screen, which uh, I thought was really cool when I did use it for a bit. But now it's downstairs in the living room. Um, and then you have my KNF concept, uh, here you go, uh, tr tripod, which the camera sits on. Uh, if you haven't seen the video about my KNF concept tripod, check the link up here. Um, and then we have my Canon EOS 1300D, which is a very good camera. The only downside is the fact that if you focus it at something like this, and then focus it at the background, uh, the background it will be out of focus because it doesn't automatically um, refocus, you have to manually hold it down and wait for it to focus. Um, so it's okay for sets like this, but for things like vlogging where you're doing multiple action shots, it's um, not as good. And I also shoot quite wide, because uh, the camera is not that far away from my face, as you can see the difference between the two blue pieces of tape and that. Then I have my Adobe Gorillapod, I'm not going to do a review about that or talk about that much because most of you will know what that is, it's just, you know, a flexible tripod, I've got the black version, it looks a bit more stealthy and nice, I prefer black stuff, um, that's why I have a dark backdrop as well, I quite like it. Uh, and then we got the newer ball head on top of that, which I also just released a video about, so go check that out, up in the card there, and then... To the interesting part, I made this to do drum covers with, with my old camera. It was, um, it was okay, uh, but it definitely wouldn't carry this now. It was like a little compact 
camera. It would it would never carry this now. Uh, so I it's been sat behind there for ages, and now I finally found a use for it. So the audio that sounds that was the camera turning off. Uh, absolutely incredible is. Well, it doesn't sound incredible, but it sounds very, very good compared to that. I've done a side-by-side -side comparison myself in uh, the video that's what I use. Um, but this, this microphone, I just have the little dot facing me. You probably won't be able to see it. No, you can't see it. Uh, there's a little dot, which is obviously the microphone, um, in some about seven-year-old Samsung earphones that came with um, this old Samsung phone that also has a removable back and... Um, doesn't run Instagram or any of the latest apps or anything like that, that's how old it is. Uh, and these are the earphones from it with the microphone and that's amazing. Uh, also the problem with my camera, doesn't have a mic input. So w what do I do about that? Where, where does this cable go? Well, it goes to my laptop, which I have this video recorder and I use this app called Simp, Simple Screen, uh, it's no, 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 that was the screen recorder I used. It's called um, Simple Recorder, I think. I'm not sure. Look here. Yeah, Simple Recorder. It's just a Mac app. It's on the Mac App Store, I think. Uh, and yeah, you can just download it through there. And that's what I do for that. And it just sits there on the windowsill, on the cat's bed. And then there's the camera. And that's what the set looks like, like that. And this, this costs nothing to make. If you have a Smash laptop and you're quite like recyclable and you just kind of want to keep it because you don't know what it come in useful for just wire it to um, a thing uh, to a board that has a backlight control this is a whole screen thing that because uh, it was broken but the backlight still worked so it just goes in by a 12 volt and then um, yeah simply just like that so yeah I'm gonna Click record on here. So this is how my camera works. Pretty sure it's quite normal. And then I'm gonna sit down. This is how I normally do it. And this is what it looks like for me, though it doesn't look quite as um, exposed and blown out by all the highlights. Uh, but it is the microphone because you can see where a little uh, camera would have gone onto before. And then there's the microphone just chilling there and the softbox which lights up my face nice and evenly and then here we go that's what it all looks like so now switching back to my Canon camera now okay guys so I hope you found that interesting and this is like amazing super budget as you can see I reused a thing I made literally just some wing nuts and some bits of scrap wood I just literally screwed together and put some wing nuts on really easy um, softbox you saw I bought a light stand ages ago as a proper tripod obviously it didn't have the ball head and all of that but I bought it as a tripod and because I needed something that could hold it and I think it was like six quid I mean yeah the top bit's really wobbly which I didn't show you there's a little silver bit which I actually have this thread on and it just like wobbles uh, but other than that I mean that and then the screen was free it was just a broken laptop I took the screen layers out the like LCD layers the cracked bits Kept the backlight, kept a couple of diffusing layers, because that acts like, you know, a light diffuser. Because um, there is them in there. Because uh, it's got about two or three, and I think I took one out, but left two in, so it's still quite bright, but still diffuses the light nicely. Shut half the curtain, so you get some natural light, and some softbox light, and then you get this lovely effect that actually looks professional, but natural at the same time, because that's what it is. Um, and the microphone, Earphones, just if you because, like me, I've got an earphones for carrying around uh, just some random earphones that I lost and then bought some new ones and then found the old ones, but they're still not as good. But they don't have a microphone, and then I just have these old ones from an old Samsung that I showed you, and it's just like six or seven years old. Literally, any microphone, any little microphone on your earphones, plug it in. Um, you can't plug it into a camera because they have um, you need uh, only three metal bits or two black rings. Uh, but these have three black wings and four metal bits but you can get a converter that can plug into a camera then but laptops and phones have to have the opposite they're the opposite they have to have the three black rings or the four metal contacts you can learn about that in other people's videos that's how I learned about it uh, about which auxiliary cables to use with what devices and then yeah see what you've got match them up 
maybe you've got an old screen maybe you've just got like a little light you've put in the corner and put like some pieces of paper over it that would work as a diffuser and then it can go up at you and you can just make anything you can make it out of wood this bit um, and sit it on a ball head if you have one if not you could lean it against something you know you could do anything on a really cheap budget you could do this exact thing with different items and it would look very similar so yeah as i don't have much money i mean yeah the macbook costs a lot but you know you can use your phone you can use other things you can just use a phone with that external microphone but anyway i'm going on way too much and so i don't make this video end up too long i just want it to be a quick one so yeah if you enjoyed this video and learned something like one or two things uh, then yeah, I'd advise you to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll definitely see you in the next video, next Wednesday.